Welcome to the second in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully wire the SolarEdge energy bank on a floor mount and connect additional floor mounts. In this video, we'll guide you through how to safely wire the battery. And as you'll soon find out, it's a simple, straightforward process. Let's quickly review which tools are needed to complete the battery wiring. Now, let's review the battery wiring area. The battery DC-MC4 connectors, a factory-installed antenna, equipment grounding terminals, one for the battery, and the other to daisy-chain to the next battery, if needed. For added convenience, we've also provided a dedicated location for cable management. Now, let's assemble the DC and grounding cables required to connect the battery to the inverter. Make sure that you've prepared the correct cable lengths. You'll need to crimp the conductor to the supplied MC4 connector in the package and tighten the MC4 gland with the appropriate torque. Let's move on to wiring the battery. Release the screws and open the wiring gutter on the left side of the floor mount base. If using a conduit, you should remove the rubber grommet and place the conduit in the dedicated hole. Now, pass the grounding and DC cables through the wiring gutter and then through the wiring sleeve. Note that wiring is possible from both sides of the stands. Now, connect the cables to the battery. First connect the equipment grounding. Then, connect one end of the DC cable to the battery and the other to the inverter. Branch connectors and MC4 connectors are both needed for daisy chaining and are supplied as part of a dedicated Solar Edge kit. If installing more than one battery per inverter, use branch connectors and place them in the battery wiring area. Once the wires are connected, close the wiring gutter with the supplied screws. Next, remove the black rubber strip. Finally, attach the battery cover by easily snapping it into place and securing it to the battery with the two supplied screws. If installing more floor stands, position the back of the additional base mount against the front of the already anchored base mount and connect them using the stand connectors and nuts. Note that you don't need to install the wall bracket for the other floor stands. Attach the floor stand connector from the front of the rear mount base to the two internal base mount studs and tighten the nuts to secure the front base mount to the rear base mount. Once you're done wiring the additional battery and you've attached the battery cover to the additional battery, secure the two batteries to each other using screws to attach a side bracket to each side of the battery. Start by removing the wall bracket upper and lower screws. Then, loosely screw the side bracket screws on each side. Once the side bracket is placed, tighten the screws. If desired, you can reverse the positioning of the floor connector bracket of the stand. Note that the floor mount can support up to three batteries. Here's what the wiring should look like. You're almost done. Just screw the front panel to the last floor mounting stand, and that's it. Join us for the next video in this series, where we will guide you step-by-step step through the SolarEdge Energy Bank commissioning process.